When I was in Cancun, I had, I raised my hand every time. I had the opportunity and I wasn't called on. <clears throat> oh, we meant, we meant that. <laughs> <laughs> because all, all I wanted to do at that point was rampage about what was going well. Because I heard you um, say something recently, and not to be a teacher's pet or anything, but <clears throat> you said, all we want to do is talk about what's going well. And I have infinite things I could chat here about what's going well. Um, it, it, it's remarkable where, where my life has come and where I am and how satisfied I am with it, and yet I keep wanting more, all that. And um, <clears throat> I've been up on this disc, you know, not always, you know, I like a little bit of contrast, that's okay. Um, I like being pushed, you know, I like, I like feeling a little discomfort so that I can get to a better place. But I've really been in a good place. And then what I feel like out of the blue, something happened last week, um, that was this week actually, that, um, that definitely is a pattern, it's something I haven't cleaned up. My question is, it was sort of like a skeleton in the closet. That's exactly what it was, a skeleton in the closet. I really, have been practicing. I've laid new pipes, but there are still subjects in my life, subjects yeah. that happen. Yeah. And, and so I know it's like, I just texted my sister in the bathroom. She's like, how's Abraham? I was like, same old, same old. Cause it is the same old, same old. It's, you're giving us the same stuff, but I keep coming here and I keep try seeking the answer to why can't, why, why on just a couple of these subjects can I not, you know, I've got the toe in the train issue. And I really, really want to let it go. And I know the way is to think about things and, and, and appreciate. I'm doing all of that. Well, so we have a question for you. We like the way you presented this because you have been on that higher flying disc much of the time. Then out of the blue, which is all right, just means out of the oblivious, but it, something happened. So the question that we want to put to you, you're going to like this. It, it's going to unfold in a very, uh, you will feel the evolution of this within yourself. So when something happened, we want to ask, because it's not something that was very active. You could even say it was sort of a, a dormant thing. For the time that you were on that higher flying disc, this thing that happened that turned up that you didn't like had been dormant, but now wasn't. Because if it turns up, that means you were at a vibration and it jumped on with you, so to speak, by law of attraction. So our question to you, and we're just feeling our way through this with you, how dormant was that vibration? Did it really shock you when it happened or was it so familiar? So it wasn't all that dormant. So what you're saying to us is for a while, it happened to Esther too. While Esther was in Cancun with those events and she had the benefit of two seminars back to back. So by the time we had had this conversation about these discs, well, this is the best way to explain it to you. Before a gathering like this, Esther has a process because she wants to make sure that she is vibrationally ready for Abraham for you. So she does her best to get a good night's sleep so that she feels rested. She allows herself enough time to prepare herself. She meditates. She makes lists of positive aspects. She deliberately tunes herself into a frequency where she's certain that she can articulate Abraham in the finest points that we are presenting. It's just been her process for a long time in Cancun because she was tending to her vibration on a moment to moment basis. That tuning was not necessary before each seminar because she was already right there. She was there and stayed there day after day after day after day. That's what you're talking about too. But it doesn't mean that she didn't have other beliefs that could potentially be activated. They just weren't active then because in part, the surroundings made it easier. You couldn't look out the window without seeing something beautiful. You couldn't walk down the hallway without meeting someone lovely. In other words, it was a really comfortable and rather easy environment in which to stay tuned to the higher frequency for a longer period of time. And so Esther thought, I've got it. I've got it. I've got it. I've got it. I understand it. I love the new disc concepts. I love the laying of the new pipes concept. I love it. I've got it. I've got it. I've got it. I've got it. But then something happened. Something happened that went right to the heart of a concern that she's had for a very long time. And she found herself on that lower disc 
and in tremendous pain for being there because nothing's worse than being here and then being here nothing is worse than being in that place and resonating with who you are and then moving to another place but then we say to Esther did you misunderstand did you think that our message to you was never think another thought never sort through the contrast at all ever again never find a lower vibration never feel the appreciation of the higher frequencies because you found a lower frequency in other words this is what the molding of the clay is earlier when our friend is asking how we feel about you it is with appreciation for that very concept that we love you the very most of all because you are willing to sift through for the purpose of tuning yourself more and more consistently to the higher frequencies but never ever did you intend or would we ever want you to say I'm just gonna get there and stay there and never again explore contrast and put a subtle subtle new evolution into something again you're never gonna get it done so the most important thing that we want to say to you is don't be hard on yourself when you dip out of that frequency instead say to yourself hmm there's a pretty strong momentum going here that isn't serving me and I acknowledge that the momentum is there but not I'm gonna stop this momentum I'm gonna practice a different one and make it more dominant Ooh, that's the most important thing that you've ever heard to say and you heard it didn't you my work isn't to stop the momentum that isn't pleasing me it's to start the other momentum that is and give it enough attention that it takes precedence over so that eventually this high flying vibration is so dominant within me that almost nothing not nothing because we don't want there to have, when when almost nothing ever brings me to that lower vibration you will have emerged into non-physical but as long as you're in this physical body there is always that work to be done that re-evolution is always going to be taking place as long as you are still in this physical body you see and it's a good thing not a bad thing and your negative emotion is a good thing not a bad thing and your awareness of it is a really good thing not a bad thing and what in the world does it matter if you choose a disc that isn't serving you very well when you have this knowledge but can you jump off of it all of a sudden no hang on it'll be over in a little while but, yeah. you're gonna slumber you're gonna be distracted you're gonna meditate you got to understand that the source within you knows who you really are and what you really want and so those paths are being open to you all the time you can't possibly go into the darkness and stay there you cannot possibly do that you see and that's what we say to Esther she was so mad at herself to have felt so good and then be feeling so bad like she'd done something wrong mm -hmm. and we say you didn't do anything wrong you just reactivated a belief that's been plaguing you for a very long time that you might want to just let go dormant what I don't have to fix it I don't have to solve it all I have to do is just let it go dormant and how do I do that turn the other cheek so dormant focus means on it'll something go else. away it means when it's dormant it's not active and when it's not active there's no momentum and when there's no momentum there's no movement that's going to bring you to it or it to you but to say I'm not gonna think about that thing I'm thinking about cuz I'm not gonna think about that thing I'm thinking about I'm not gonna think about that thing I'm thinking about I'm gonna, I'm gonna let that thing that I'm thinking about go dormant as soon as I can that thing that I'm thinking about I'm gonna let it go dormant because I don't like thinking about that thing that I'm thinking about I want that thing I'm thinking about to go dormant 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 <laughs> that thing I'm thinking about I want to go dormant and it's just getting more and more and more and more momentum till you get all this determination I'm not gonna think about you I'm not gonna think about you and you're just like that filter in Esther's pump house the pressure is so enormous within you you feel like you're going to explode because you're trying too hard this work is about not trying this work is about understanding that step one was all the trying that you had to do step one and sifting through the contrast cause you to put everything you want into the vortex and and then we're on it step two so then your work you've done all the work with your step one and law of attraction and those like us have gathered up all the cooperative components now your work is to chill your work is to let your work is to let non-helpful vibrations remain dormant by your lack of attention to them but I thought I had well but, you haven't but, but so then... what Esther thought so too <laughs> Esther thought so too I thought I was past that I thought I was smarter than that you see sometimes at first it's like something rears its ugly head and you deal with it but you don't you just make it bigger and then you get distracted and it stays right where you last left it and then something causes it to reactivate and you deal with it and then you think you fix it but you don't you just made it bigger 
You just added more vibration to it. And so it's bigger and then you get distracted. So each time it comes up, every time it comes up, you think that you might be fixing it, but you're not fixing it. You're just adding to it. You're just making it more likely to come up again until eventually enough things like that come up that you have a sort of epiphany moment like Esther has had and like you're having that goes like this. I'm never going to solve that. I'm never going to control that. All I can control is whether I get on the disc with it or not. I can control that. I can control my relationship with it by my attention to it. Mm -hmm. So then you give your attention to other things that are more pleasurable as you give your attention to them. And then you begin noticing that the airtime that you're giving to the good feeling things is 90% and the airtime that you're giving to the not good feeling things is less. And then more of the grid is filling in with those things, which just makes it easier and easier and easier. Esther had such a vivid image the other day of being a, like a radio transmitter receiver. And she's got a little tuning knob on her. And a person that she's interacting with is another transmitting and receiving thing and they've got a tuning knob on them and Esther is adjusting their dial. <laughs> if you're a little more this way and a little more that way, let me see if I can tune you into the frequency that will please me. And as that image came to her mind, she laughed right out loud and it was like, Oh yeah, I forgot. I forgot. It's, it's my dial on me. That's the only dial I get to tune. But sometimes you have to have some experiences to remind yourself of that. That's all. You just have those experiences to remind you that you don't have to fix it, nor can you. You don't have to make them understand, nor can you. All you can do is offer a frequency that's causing you to be on a disc and those who get on the disc with you will be pleasing to you while they're on the disc with you. But then we got to ask you, don't you occasionally want to get on another disc just for grins? Don't you want clarification? Don't you want expansion in your desire? Don't you want a new destination so that you can feel the joy of going to it? Don't you? Don't you? Don't you? Yeah, you do. You do. You do. You know why we know that? You're here. You're here. Feel better? I do. Thank you.